Welcome to your online art class with me, Mrs. D. Here's what you'll need for today's project. Paper and pencil and an object that is fun or interesting. You can use a toy, a figurine, or even a plant. You can pause the video here while you gather your supplies and begin again when you're ready. Today we'll be doing our project outside, so be sure to find a nice, smooth, hard surface like cement or sidewalk or patio and take everything with you, including your device. Are you ready for today's project? Let's get started. I'm going to take a minute here and begin to arrange my objects that I've chosen for this project on my paper. As you can see, I'm trying to place them on the paper so that it casts a specific shadow across the paper. Now that I'm satisfied with how my figurine is arranged, I'm going to be taking my pencil and slowly and carefully tracing around my figurine and then I'll be tracing around the outside edge only of the shadow the figurine has created on the paper. I will now take another object and place it on the paper next to the first object to fill the page. I'll begin by tracing around my object and then around the outside edge of the shadow it's created. For today's project, we'll be learning about the element of art, space. Space is used to create the illusion of depth. Space can be two-dimensional, three-dimensional, negative, or positive. For our project today, we'll be focusing on the negative and positive aspects of space. Using an eraser, you can now remove any previous lines or marks that you do not want in your drawing. I've also drawn a horizontal line moving left to right across my paper. This is what grounds our objects and helps us to begin creating the illusion of depth or space. For the next part of our project today, you will need colored pencils, markers, or crayons. If you do not have these, you can continue in pencil. Using your colored pencils, markers, or crayons, let's begin shading in the foreground. That's the part of the drawing underneath the horizon line that is closest to us. Focusing on our background now, that's everything above the horizon line and appears to be farthest away from us. We'll be drawing a half circle or semicircle between the two outlines of our shadows. In the center of my semicircle, I'm going to draw a dot. I'm going to place my ruler on the dot and draw straight lines from the dot to the outside edge of my paper, moving it slightly to create diagonal lines flowing from my semicircle all the way to the edge of my paper. You can also do this without a ruler by drawing freehand diagonal lines from your semicircle to the edges of your paper. Creating a design behind our outline shadows is just another trick that we can use to create the illusion of depth or space. With a dark colored pencil, crayon, or marker, begin shading in the shadows we've outlined earlier. Positive space refers to the main focus of a picture, just like our outline shadows. Using your colored pencils, crayons, or markers, finish coloring in the rest of your drawing. You can use whatever colors make you happy in any combination you like. Negative space refers to the background or anything surrounding our main focus, such as our outline shadows. When we have learned to use positive and negative space in an artwork, we begin to tell a story, such as the story of these two silhouettes enjoying a lovely summer sunset. Please share your artwork by emailing sarahdrennan.art at gmail.com or coordinator at bakersfieldfamilymusic.com.
Thanks for watching. And don't forget to like and subscribe for more online art classes.